Now to a story that has been generating a lot of heat among motor vehicle inspectors. The Kenya Bureau of Standards has backed vehicle inspection company Quality Inspection Services Japan to carry out its work despite concerns raised by importers. The standards agency says QISJ has close to 29 inspection sites, enough to handle the capacity of imported cars. Vehicle importers had raised concerns over the three-year contract issued to the firm over capacity challenges that had led to a backlog of inspections. The importers had wanted two other companies that had been shortlisted for the contract to be allowed to carry out inspections to ease the backlog. Kebs was, however, hearing none of it back in Quality Inspection Services Japan to deliver on its mandate. Kebs argues the move to have one inspection company will restrict the number of unroady worthy cars in the country. Kenya imports an estimated 7,000 second-hand vehicles from Japan, Dubai, United Kingdom, South Africa and Singapore every month, underlying the commission boom to be made by importers. All they do is to fight for market share. And when companies are fighting for market share, you can be sure that uh, uh, chances that they'll pass and route what vehicles like we've, we've seen in the last three years are very high. Because the more cars you inspect, the more fees you make as a company. With this one inspector, we can firmly deal with this one inspector because we build those penalties into the contract. Every defective vehicle that comes into this country, the penalty is 10 times the inspection fees. And then the, the company will bear liability that may arise from their actions, including reshipping that, that car back into the country of origin at their own cost and compensating the Kenyan consumer. That's what we are doing.